Good day everyone, welcome to this final uh, third part of our colour correcting series. Um, in this part we're just going to be looking at uh, correcting white balance and also matching colour hues between shots and then in the very end we're going to apply a broadcast safe filter. Right, so let's get into it and check out the footage that we're working with. Um, we have a medium shot here of our actor reading a paper that then switches to a close up. Now if we take a look at this footage we can see that it's shot pretty well. Um, we can tell that the white balance is alright because the newspaper is white. Uh, whereas in this first shot the newspaper should be white but it's got a sort of yellowish red, reddish tint to it. Um, we just didn't quite get the white balance right when we were shooting it. So if we want to correct that we simply double click on our clip apply a color corrector filter which I've already done and then come down next to the balance wheel here and click on this uh, eyedropper. Now we click on something in the frame that should be white so for instance a newspaper and uh, a simple click and you can see quite simply what it's done there. We've gone from the yellowish tint down to a more neutral white. Now it hasn't removed any yellow all uh, we've done is added some more blue in, as you can see here on the balance wheel. And if you want to reset the uh, wheel, you can also manually adjust it. But if you want to reset it, just click this little button here, and it'll jump back in. Um, so that's how you neutralize your whites if your white balance is a little bit off. But say we quite like the yellow, um, and we want to give the yellow tint to the second shot. Uh, match the two up so that they look similar and there's not that sort of jarring jarring cut. Um, what we can do there is come back to our first clip and then select this eyedropper tool which lets us select a custom color to match to. Uh, in this case I'm going to use the skin tone of our character because we want them to be matched between the two shots. It's a pretty good reference to use. Um, we'll double click on our second clip and bring up its color corrector. Now you can see once we go back to the uh, eyedropper tool here it's turned green because we've got a color, a custom color selected. So if we just click on that and then click back on our character skin you can see that it applies the same yellow tint um, and you can see here it's injected a few more yellows into the scene. So now that should make things look a little bit more smooth between the two cuts. Last but not least is the good old broadcast safe filter. Uh, we'll apply it to the second clip, you just come up to effects, video filters, color correction, broadcast safe. Um, now you'll notice after it's been applied you can't really see what it's done, it's, it's quite unnoticeable and that's because it hasn't done very much. Um, if you've shot your film well it'll just bring all the colors that sort of go above 100%, it'll take them down, you can see it's kept the greens, kept everything else and bring the whites back into under 100%. Um, broadcast safe filters are handy if you're going to be uh, writing to DVD or if you're going to be um, giving your footage to a TV station but if you're going to the net it's not really worth using them. Uh, if you want a more technical explanation of why we use broadcast safe filters uh, check out the written accompanying piece to this article on realclever.com but aside from that, I think it's about it. I hope you enjoyed these uh, tutorials and have fun correcting your footage.